Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Sports Fan 1100 Tutorials. In this tutorial will be another Sony Vegas tutorial on the Media Generators tab, just showing you all the media generators and um, what where they're located, what they can do, and it really shows you the powers of the media generators. It's really a cool effect in Sony Vegas, and I'll be going through them all. So stay th tuned for this tutorial, and... Make sure after you, after the video, if you have any questions, please comment below, or you can message me at my my YouTube account at sportsfan1100. Okay, let's get started. So the Media Generators tab is right here. Um, in Sony Vegas 8, they moved it up. They changed the layout around, so the timeline's down here. And the Media Generators are up here. And Media Generators, FX, Transitions, they're all up here. This whole box is up there. And same with the player. So Media Generators is the last tab, so we're just going to be going there. Alright, I'm just going to go through all, or I'll go through a few from each and show you how, what, they're, like, what they can do. So I'll do large tiles first. It's really easy to do. You just grab it, uh, drag it onto the timeline, or you can double click on it and it'll in, uh, insert. All right, now the edit, the generated media should pop up once you drag it into the timeline. If you happen to close it, accidentally close it, you can also always go back to it right here and it should pop up. To make it bigger, double click on it and it should show you everything that is in the window. Double click on it again. Or uh, actually, you won't. This just makes everything so show. So, um, you can change the color on both the color, the f um, foreground and background. Change it around. That can also make the width a little bigger. So, if you wanted like a real big video like this, if you double click on it, actually, that's only. Never mind. Um. The horizontal tool is actually really cool. It blends the two pixels together, or the pixelings together, to make it look like it's blurring out. Which is actually a really cool effect. If you blur it out all the way, it looks like a kaleidoscope. You can also keyframe it. So if you wanted to make it move, you just bring the keyframe or the t um, the uh, timeline scroller and just bring that out. And you can either just move it around, or you can double click on it to make a new one. As you see, if you play it, it'll zoom out. It's a pretty cool effect, actually. Alright. I'll do one more in checkered board. They're pretty much all the same. I'll do letterhead. This is good for web templates. If you want to make a web template, you basically, like, mess around with that. And then... Um, you can add a picture. So if you insert a video track like this... And I'll just... Actually... I'll import a picture. And import it. Let's make a mask real quick. Whatever. And you can like put it. Like right here or whatever. And you can just have it as there. And I'll just delete that. So, I mean, you can just screw around with it and get what you want. Um, if you have any questions about the checkerboard or any of the other media generators, you can also comment. Yeah. Let's move on to color gradient. This is actually a cool. A uh, cool set of effects you got here. Um, I'm just gonna do a few. I'll do rectangular transparent to black. It's a really cool effect. I'll show you how this works. Um, let me just import a picture. As you see, um, the, if you import it, the picture that you want on the bottom, 
you'll get this cool little effect where it kind of fades. It, it's just like a spotlight effect. And you can use the um, ones and twos, the tools, twos, to move it around to give you that nice cool effect. And you can mess around with the settings there. You can also keyframe it, so if you wanted like a cool like, well, you want a cool like little effect where it pops in, you could do that and then see what you got. It's like that, it's pretty cool. Alright. They're all pretty much the same in, me in the color gradient, but I'll go over one more. I'll do. Um. I'll do linear red to yellow. This is a pretty cool one. Um, you basically just mess around with these. It's the same. It's similar to the rectangular transparent to black. The other one we just did. You can change around the colors. You can also insert a text. So we'll do that right now. You've probably te text before, so you know how it works. We'll just do whatever. Test me. Mess around with us. Say that. You can mess around with the text and stuff. It's just a cool background layer. Alright. Alright, I'll move on to credit roll. And if we have time, I'll do another color gradient. Um, I'll just do a f I'll just do two. Um, but they're all pretty much the same. We'll just do plain scrolling, the first one. And um, I'll scroll out so you can see everything. It's, it's really basic. You just type in, you know, whatever you want for your credits. Like, this would be the name of your movie. Um, this would be, the, like, credits. And this would be, like, your actors. So, like, person one. And then you could do, like, the name of the person, and then hers. Two, and then do that out. To edit it, you just double click on it, so it's pretty easy. And then if you want to insert one, you just click right there, or you can right click and insert a row right there, and you can also delete the row. So it's pretty easy. It's very simple. And so yeah, and if you play it back. It plays. Um, if you want to make it faster, it's really easy. You just hold down control and uh, drag it in, and as you see, it'll play a little faster. And if you want to make it slower, you just hold control again and drag it out. And as you see, it'll move slower. It's pretty cool. So that's a cool effect. All right, I'll do one more. I'll do. I'll do flash in. Whatever. What's it called? Time fade on black. And it's basically the same thing. So you do like movie. Oh. Oops. And then type in the rest, like, you know. Uh, whatever. Or you can just highlight it in the work. It's all the same thing. And just for time limits, I'm doing that. And as you see, it should show up like that, and then it flashes out and goes into the next one. You have to mess around with that, but I'm not going to go through that too much. Alright. Noise texture, um, these are cool for effects. Um, the ones I use the most are soft clouds, and this is actually a really cool effect. Um, to make these move, which is, I've seen a lot in videos, uh, you take the timeline and you bring it all the way to the end, and bring the progress in degrees up, and you can see it moves. What I'm going to do next is go back and move the X fre uh, sorry, the Y frequency frequency quite a bit like that, as you see. Oh, sorry. It'll like play like that. And you can also change the color. So 
make it like really dark or something. You know, you can fade around with it. Pretty cool. You can add some text to it, but I'm not gonna do that because I already did. It. Yeah, let's do one more to show you what it can do. Change the colors around. I can also mess around with like the minimum, like that. See how much of the noise patterns it gives you. you can mess around with that. We can move again so you guys can see what it can do. Right. Pretty cool. Alright. Solid color. I'm not really going to go over this because it's just solid colors. <laughs> and text pattern. You see these effects in like movies where it's like the basic effect of like a movie that you see at the beginning of old VCR tapes. And you can change them around. I'm not going to go through them, but cause it's pretty basic. It's pretty hands on. Um, if you want to do the same one like that you see in movies, suggest using. Yeah. SMPTE bars NTSC and yeah you can use that and then I'm not sure what you can do with this what you can do actually is import two of them and on the first one go to the event pan and crop find the position which is I know it's on and go to like right here you could like move it off like this and then move it back and then like that and then like that and then just go crazy and stuff or you could also do like the TV simulator, but that's in video effects, so I'm not going to do that right now. So I like, like, like all that, whatever. You know, you, you screw around with it, it's just a demonstration. Alright, um, I'm not going to go over text, because, I mean, it's pretty hand-on, a basic hand-on. Um, but I'll make one right now. Whatever. Mess around with the font. Change the colors around. And then the effects, which is pretty cool. Mm. Alright. Then you can make a horizontal, whatever. I'm not going through this too much because um, it's pretty basic. Alright, there's two legacy plugins, which they're kind of stupid. They're pretty much just text. But you type it in here, it's a little different. I think this was an add on for Sony Vegas 7. So, like, I don't know, sports. Like that. Change around the color, the background, like that. That's how you mess around with that. And then change the font. It's kind of weird, it, it's, it's messed up. And there's also keyframing, also tracking. So, if you want to make it like that, or further out. Right. And the same one, the other Legacy plugin is the same, but it has um, feathers, or uh, not feathers, but outlines, so looks a little cooler, so I'm going to do the same thing. Sorry about that, typing issue. That looks cool like that, I can just keep it like that. And yeah, that's how it how it works. Yeah, so if you have uh, any other questions about media generators or anything, just um yeah, just comment or message me, whatever. Whatever works. You can also email me at my desired email, which I'll put in the description if you want it. So yeah, so thank you for watching. I hope this tutorial helped. And please subscribe if you want when you know the next when the next video is on. Um I'm also a partner, so I'll make some more tutorials in HD. And yeah, so I'll see you later and thank you for watching. Bye guys.